hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you how to use some of the tools available in VS code that allow you to maintain or to adhere to the Python coding style which is also sometimes referred to as pip or the Python announcement proposals so there's two tools um, mainly that uh, allow you to write code that uh, ideas to the, the pips uh, coding style so uh, more information on, on the guidelines can be found on uh, python.org site that's where you can find more details on the, uh, the coding style so the, the main tools i'll be talking about um, pylint and uh, pycode style so right here i have a small program in uh, vs code and uh, I'm going to introduce some errors um, in this code and then we'll see what happens when you have those tools turned on and when you have them turned off. So here I'll introduce one error. So I'm going to remove that space. Then here I'm going to add a space after the, um, the num variable and then so here we have I introduced a space and I removed a space here. So as you can see right now, there's nothing showing. Uh, there's no warning at all to tell me that I'm uh, I have errors in my code. This is because I have those two tools turned off. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go to the settings and turn them on, and then we'll see what happens. So in order to turn those two tools on or off, you need to go to the settings. So you just go to file and then go to preferences and then settings. And then right here, you wanna select to workspace. And actually you can see what settings you have already by just looking at the, uh, uh, there's a file that's called, uh, it's like a JSON file. At the uh, top right, there's uh, an icon that says open settings json if you click on it it's going to tell you what settings you have applied to your workspace so this is my workspace right now i'm only seeing two settings the path to the folder and then to the the path to the uh, interpreter so there's no other settings but once i turn those two settings on you'll see what what's going to be added here so i'll go to settings i'm still under workspace i'll type in search for pilot then here you just scroll down python pylint so we are looking for pylint uh, python linting pylint enable so this is the setting one of the settings i was talking about so i'll enable it now if you go back to the file i introduce uh actually if you go back to the settings file you'll see added this line now i have a uh, linting uh, enabled and now if i go back to my file you see some wavy lines have been added which tells me there's an issue or there's an error and if you hover your mouse over that wavy line and you scroll down here at the bottom you'll see there's a message that says find a new line missing missing so you're missing a new line here okay so it's saying that i need a new line so if i introduce that new line that error message is gone okay so that's for pylint so the second feature is a pi code style that that's also um, allows you to track your coding and uh, it just uh, warns you when the, whenever there is an error in your code. So we'll go back to settings again, and this time we'll search for PyCode. And then we'll look for PyCode enabled. So Python linting PyCode, PyCode style enabled. So it says whether to lint Python files using PyCode style. So as soon as I enable it, as you can see, my file here turned red. And if I go to 
the file itself, now you see that there's red wavy lines where there's errors. So here, if I scroll down, it tells me there's a missing white space. So if I add the white space, that should go away. And we, if we go back to the settings file, you can see now I have python.linting.pycode style enabled. And it's turned red again. Sometimes it takes a, a minute. Maybe it's because I just made the changes. Now it's in the space here. And also there is also that um, I'm missing a new line. So if you I add that space, I remove that space, I mean, and then I add a new line. I shouldn't have any wavy lines in my file, even though I have both of these turned on because I fixed the, the two errors that were in, uh, in my file. So that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you turn those two features off. Uh, you turn them off by just turning this into false. You can just type false here or you can go to the settings and then check this. They just put it to false. Uh, if I, I check it, it put it, it puts it to true. That means it's enabled. So I hope this information has been useful to you. I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you. Bye.